Sarah here from The Unprofessional and today I'm building a privacy screen in my friend's backyard. Now because I'm in her backyard and not my backyard, I decided not to bring my miter saw. So I'm gonna do this whole project, an eight foot privacy screen without making any cuts at all. My first step was to decide where to place the eight foot screen. I picked eight feet because that was the standard length of the cedar slats that will make up the screen. Because I'm not using a saw, I was very careful to be exact. If you will be using a saw for your screen, you don't need to worry about being as precise because you can cut materials down to a custom size. I added a string line to make sure that the middle post was even with the two end posts. My posts are 10 feet tall, so I dug a hole two and a half feet. Typically, posts should be buried one third to one half as deep as the portion above ground. Because I'm not using a saw, I need to be really careful about how I set my posts because I want them to be level at the top. To make sure my posts are level at the top, I started by repositioning my string line at the back third of the hole where I wanted the back of my post to be. I leveled the string line very carefully because it would be the reference point for each post as I set it. Then I prepped the first hole with a few scoops of gravel in the bottom and added the first post, which will be the template for the other two. I made sure it was plumb, then I drew a pencil mark right where the string hit the post. I took the post out and used a square to turn that mark into a level line. Then I measured how far that line was from the bottom of the post. I used that measurement to make lines on the other two posts. Now, as long as the line on each post hits the string line when I set it, I'll know that the tops will be level. If it doesn't line up at first, just add or remove gravel from the hole until it's right. If you don't care about the tops being even, you can just skip this step. And then I set the posts in cement. If you want to see a step-by-step -step video on how I set posts in cement, you can click on the video in the corner. With my posts set and dry, it was time to attach the cedar slats. I picked cedar because it's weatherproof, it's super light, and it's really easy to work with. It's more expensive than other materials, but I think it's worth it. I started the first slat about a foot and a half off the ground because I liked how it looked. I was really careful to make it perfectly level because of the rest of the slats would follow that same line. I pre-drilled, which I absolutely recommend, and I used one two inch decking screw per post. So three screws per cedar slat. In order to get the spacing even between each slat, I turned one on its side, sandwiched it between another slat, creating the perfect gap without ever needing to measure. I continued up the posts, checking the level every five slats or so until I was out of slats. Now, originally I planned to go all the way to the top with slats and add a two by four across the top, but I ended up really liking how it looked with the space between the last slat and the top of the post, so I decided to leave it. With the addition of lights and a shade sail, having the open post would look really good. I added some screw eyes to each post and left a carabiner so that my friend could attach her shade sail when it arrived in the mail. Then I put up the lights and called it a day. This was an easy weekend project that made a big impact to this patio space. And best of all, it didn't require any big power tools, so anyone can do it. Hey, this is Laura from The Unprofessional. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. And if you like this content, you can head over to my website, theunprofessional.com, for more.